Remember a text or a phone call that didn't sound right? There was no pulse, rhythm, or vocabulary that you shared. No joy, no affection, no room for misinterpretation. All calculated, mercilessly, premeditated, cold, distant, almost foreign. You went through it in your head again and again to make sure you understood it correctly. You called, ring once, ring twice, radio silence, followed by waves of denial, oceans of rage, and wells of sorrow, unmatch, unfriend, unfollow. What encapsulates the dissolution of a romantic relationship is this canvas in acrylic paint. At first glance, it's just a man looking at a swimmer beneath him. What if I tell you that there's a third person there? It's the artist from afar, looking at his partner above the pool, looking at somebody else. Ouch. It recorded the breakup of a significant love affair and made him out to be at one with an exotic lifestyle he was observing and describing. He was a very, very special person. I loved him. Fetching an eye-watering $90 million at Christie's auction house in 2018, David Hockney's iconic 1972 artwork, Portrait of an Artist, Pool with Two Figures, made a splash in the art scene, showing a submerged male figure in white trunks and Peter Schlesinger, Hockney's former partner, fully clothed by the pool, echoing the artist's recurring themes of swimming pools and double portraits. What attracts you about the double portrait? Well, uh, twice as interesting as the single portrait. Hockney and Schlesinger's relationship reached a breaking point in 1971, after a heated altercation in Spain. The fallout, you can imagine, made Hockney inject all his emotions and energy into the piece, where by introducing another young man swimming towards Schlesinger, Hockney acknowledges both lost love and Schlesinger's desire for a new partner. Hockney got inspired when he noticed two photographs lying side by side on his studio floor. And with his Pentax camera, Hockney embarked on a journey to a villa near Central Pay, staging countless photographs to recreate the initial composition with his assistant. The resulting images capturing both the idyllic pool setting and his former lover in a distinctive pink jacket laid the groundwork for the final masterpiece. And on his return to his studio in London, Hockney arranged the poolside photos alongside images of Schlesinger. Devoting 18 hours a day for a consecutive two weeks, he completed the painting just in time for its shipment to New York. I live in the now. Uh, that's my philosophy, really. So the past is uh, something you'll have to dig up. Yeah, he just numbed himself with work and made lemons into a pool of lemonade. Pools are not new. From a broader history of pools in modern art, we've seen Matisse make stunning, massive, blue cutouts of swimmers and divers. Other artists explore natural bodies of water, like the lake at London High Park or a Scottish rock pool. Artists like Picasso at Richer and James Turrell ventured out to make large-scale physical pools as a piece of outdoor installation. But it was Hockney's distinctive take on pool imagery that became a cultural touchstone. From the splash to a bigger splash, from paper pools to a pool ring, making its way even into a popular culture through shows like BoJack Horseman. BoJack, make yourself useful for a change and help, will you? With the bird. But at this point, you may be wondering, but, but, but why? Why the pools? Why the obsession with swimming pools? Hockney's love affair with the pools began at his arrival in Los Angeles in 1964. Inspired by the abundance of pools in the area, he realized their significance in the American context, a luxury in England but a popular feature in LA. 
This epiphany marked the birth of Hockney's signature swimming pool motif, a central theme in his major works of the 1960s and 70s. Pools symbolized opulence and the American dream in the sprawling city of Los Angeles. Hockney, an English outsider, saw them as emblems of a carefree Californian ideal, embodying the allure of mid-century modern architecture, beautiful people, and endless blue swimming pools. I was 18 when I first visited London, 22 when I moved there. In London, I don't think will ever really be a, a, a what you'd call a swinging place. His paintings captured the essence of the swinging 60s and the California dreaming fantasy that lingered throughout the era. To Hockney, pools are exotic, pools are luxury, pools are possibilities. Hockney's pool scenes also served as canvases for exploring themes of freedom and sexual desire. Through his lens, he depicted the moments of leisure, endless sunshine, and sexual openness, totally removed from the greyness of the Britain he had left behind. Works like Domestic Scene, Peter Getting Out of Nick's Pool, Two Boys in a Pool, Hollywood, showcased the interplay of these themes, giving his audience a glimpse into the utopian spaces of blissful gay domesticity. These artworks suggest a perpetual afternoon where everyone is beautiful, free of worry, and well, no one seems to be bothered by work. But what is most fascinating is what's been left out from the painting. Hockney's fascination extended to the mystery and fear lurking beneath the water surface. His paintings, particularly the Splash series, offered a mix of tension and ambiguity. The swimming pools became more than just idyllic settings. They became a reflection of Hockney's complex emotions with an undercurrent of jealousy that added layers to his artistic narrative. We can see that from his other painting, Le Parc des Sources Vichy, 1970. Two rows of tall trees, and in the middle, Oxy Clark, a friend, Schlesinger, his ex, and a third empty chair. Needless to say, Hockney was the mystery person who's no longer in the picture. His haunting absence is like the paintings of Van Gogh and Gauguin's chairs, whose owners shared a close but tumultuous friendship and were nowhere to be seen in the paintings. The conflicting personalities and artistic visions eventually led to a falling out, and Van Gogh cut off his ear after a fight with Gauguin, resulting in this world-famous self-portrait. Sometimes what's been left out from the canvas fills the gaps with the most dramatic palette. Looking at the painting again, you can see a man that's looking and longing for another man, who in a few moments comes out of the water to meet him and also a ghost who painted the exact moment he no longer has his love, mourning a relationship that no longer exists. Hockney eventually moved on to new ways of approaching art, from photography to iPad art, and also moved on to new people, a loving partner that manages his studio. After all, it was a fight that boiled the blood of Hockney, but made his American dream come true by brewing million dollars worth swimming pools.